Hey, what's up, guys? It's Dark Arm Duels, and today doing a DDD Super Doom King deck profile. So I'm really excited to see you guys because this deck is actually suggested to me by one of my patrons, Zach. And this deck is an extremely awesome deck that can actually summon out all three of the Super Doom King monsters, which is absolutely insane. So without further ado, guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell there so you can come part of Notification Squad and definitely check out the Patreon down in the description below for all those awesome rewards like getting your name description every single video, getting assigned cards in the mail, and even getting to request a deck profile every single month to your patron. And definitely give Zach some love down in the comments down below for suggesting such an awesome deck. So let's get straight on into this one, guys. So first off, we're playing three copies of DD Griffin. DD Griffin is a great extender for the deck because it has really good monster effects. Like if this card is in your hand and you control a DD monster, you can special summon this card from your hand in defense position, which helps you link some for your copy of Gilgamesh. It also has the ability, if this card is Pendulum Summon, then you can discard a DD or Dark Contract card to be able to draw a card. And if this card is special summoned from the graveyard, then you can add a DD card from your deck to your hand except another copy of this card which is an awesome effect we then play three copies of copernicus copernicus is a great three out for the deck because it's basically a foolish burial with the ability if this card is normal or special summon you get to send a dd or dark contract card from your deck to the graveyard which can help out the deck a lot to help you get cards like necro slime or even vice typhon in the graveyard to help you fusion summon i then play three copies of kepler kepler is a really good searcher for the deck because it has the ability if this card is normal or special summon you get to add a dark contract card from your deck to your hand which is a great effect to be able to use to be able to get one of your cards from your deck to your hand and then play two copies of dd orthos dd orthos is a great two of deck because this card can actually pop spells and traps with its pendulum effect that once per turn you can target one spell or trap card on the field and one other dd card or dark contract card that you control and destroy them which is a great effect to have on this car it's also a level four tuner which can help us go in for some really good plays and help us go in for our copies of our super doom king monsters i then play two copies of ddd vice king requiem vice king requiem is a great two of them today because it has an amazing pendulum effect that you can target any number of dark contract cards that you control and destroy them and if you do special summon this card from your pendulum zone then you can increase or decrease its level by the number of destroyed cards and you can only use this effect of this card once per turn but this card is a great extender in the deck because it can just special summon itself to your side of the field to be able to use this card for xz summons which is really really good and then play a single copy of ddd chaos king apocalypse chaos king apocalypse is a really good one of the deck because it can special summon itself from your pendulum zone which is a great effect to have on this card because it has the ability you can banish any two dd monsters from your graveyard to special summon this card from your pendulum zone which is an awesome effect to just instantly get this card on the field I then play a single copy of Oblivion King Abyss Ragnarok. Abyss Ragnarok is a great one of, I did consider playing this card at more than one in this build, but I feel like one is totally fine with Gilgamesh in the extract, but it has the ability, if you special summon a DD monster, except during the damage step, then you can target a DD monster in your graveyard, and any battle damage your opponent takes becomes half for the rest of the turn, but you get to special summon that monster, and if you do, you take a thousand points of damage, which is a great effect to have, basically a monster monster reborn effect on this card's pendulum scale which is super nice to help you get an additional monster on the field so you can start summoning out your super doom king monsters and then play a single copy of dd thomas thomas is just a good one of in my opinion in this deck because it has a really good pendulum effect that during your main phase you can add one face up dd pendulum monster from your extract back to your hand so that you can pendulum summon it out from your hand instead of your extract to a monster a link monster points to which his own link monster points to which is really good for for this card but this card is also a level eight so it can help you go in for some really good xz plays and then play a single copy of go ddd divine zero king rage zero king rage is a really good one of the deck because it's just an amazing boss monster that has some really really insanely powerful monster effects that when this card declares an attack if your opponent's life points are four thousand or less you can make this card gain attack equal to the opponent's life points until the end of this turn and it cannot be destroyed 
zero at battle, and also you take no battle damage from battles involving this card. And you can also attribute one of their monsters to apply one of the following effects until the end of the turn. Though this card can attack directly, your opponent cannot activate cards or effects in the spell and trap card zone, or your opponent cannot activate cards and effects in their hand or graveyard, which is an awesome effect on this card. This card can instantly win you a game if your opponent has 4,000 life points or less, because you can just use the effect to attack them directly. I then play three copies of Swirl Slime. Swirl Slime is a great three of them deck and still one of the best DD cards we've ever gotten with a really awesome effect that if this card is in your hand, you can fusion summon a DDD fusion monster from your extract using monsters from your hand as fusion material, including this card. And you can also banish this card from the graveyard to special summon any DD monster from your hand, which is a super good effect to help you just get any of your DD monsters on your side of the field. I then play a single copy of Necro Slime. Necro Necro Slime is basically a miracle fusion because it has the ability, if this card is in your graveyard, you can fusion summon a DDD fusion monster from your extract by banishing the fusion materials listed on it from your graveyard, including this card, which is a great effect to help you go in for your copy of Genghis. I then play a single copy of DD Vice Typhon. Vice Typhon is kind of like Necro Slime that you can use this card to help you fusion summon because it has the ability that during your main phase, if this card's in the graveyard because it was sent there this turn, then you can fusion summon a level eight or higher DDD fusion monster from your extract by banishing the fusion materials listed on it from your graveyard, including this card, which is a great effect to be able to use to help you go in for your copy of your Super Doom King Purple Armageddon. I then play for the tuner monsters, I'm going to be playing a single copy of Night Howl. Night Howl is just a really good level 3 tuner that has the ability that when this card is normal summon, you can target a DD monster in the graveyard and special summon it. Also, you cannot special summon monsters for the rest of the turn except fiend type monsters, which is all we're summoning in this deck anyways. But this card is just really good to have in the deck because you will go in for your copy of Caesar. And then when you do with your copy of Griffin, Griffin will be in the graveyard and you can actually revive it with Night Howl, which is super good. I then play a single copy of DD Ghost. DD Ghost is really good in the deck to help you go for one of your Doom Kings because it is a tuner that's a level two and it is a level 10 monster. So you can go with a level eight plus this card to help you go in for your Bright Armageddon, which is really nice in this deck. And then we're playing a single copy of Lamia. Lamia is just a really good extender in the deck overall that if this card's in your hand or graveyard, you can send a DD or Dark Contract from your hand or face and field to the graveyard, except another copy of Lamia to special summon the card but banish it when it leaves the field which is just a great extender of the deck you can use this card for a link climbing you can use it for synchro summoning it's just an overall fantastic card we then play for the last three monsters i'm going to be playing three copies of ash blossom ash blossom is just a fantastic hand trap to stop the opponent from going into the deck so that's it for the monsters guys let's get into the spells so for the spells, we're going to be playing a single copy of a one for one. One for one is just fantastic in this deck to be able to help you not waste your normal summon on Kepler, to be able to instantly get Kepler on your side of the field so that you can search from your deck your copy of Contract with the Gate to give you an additional search. So this card is a definite one of in the deck. I then play a single copy of Call by the Grave. Call by the Grave just stops the opponent from hand trapping us while we're going in for all of our plays. So we can summon out all three of our Doom King Armageddon monsters. And then playing a single copy of Dark Contract with Patent License. This card is really interesting in the deck. I feel like it's a great one of in the build. I don't feel like you need any more than a single copy of this card, but this card is super good because if your opponent special summons a monster with the same type as a Fusion, Synchro, Exe, or Link monster as a DD monster that you control, except during the damage step, you can inflict a thousand points of damage to your opponent. Also, while this card is on the field, your opponent cannot special summon monsters with the same type as the special summon monsters for the rest of the turn, which is super good because we're trying to summon out a fusion, a synchro, and an XZ monster in this deck in a single turn. So this card does help out a lot. It also has the ability, if this card is sent to the graveyard, you can add a DD monster from your graveyard or one face up DD pendulum monster from your extract to your hand. And you can only use each effect of this card once per turn, which is a great effect on this card. I then play a single copy of Dark Contract with the Swamp King. This card is basically a polymerization, and it's really insanely powerful for a polymerization because it has the ability that during your main phase, you can fusion summon a fiend type fusion monster from your extract using monsters from your hand or field as fusion material. And you can only use the effect of this card once per turn, but it also has the ability once per turn, if summoning a DD fusion monster this way, you can also banish monsters from your graveyard as fusion material, which is super good on this card to be able to do, to be able to use that 
effect to be able to use cards in the graveyard to help you fusion summon because then it doesn't use up any of your resources that you have in your hand or your field. You're using cards that are already in the grave. And then play three copies of Dark Contract with the Gate. This card is basically the searcher of the deck because during your main phase you can add a DD monster from your deck to your hand, which is a super good effect to be able to search any of your DD monsters that you need. We then play three copies of the map because this card does search Kepler and it's just really good overall in the deck. I really like this card, but I I did think about cutting this card from the deck to play three more hand traps, which is up to you, like three copies of infinite impermanence, but I like it for the consistency to be able to summon out these super doom king monsters. Cause this card will search Kepler or your copy of Copernicus, which is really nice in this deck. Cause at the start of the main phase one, you can add a monster with zero attack from your deck to your hand, but half your life points after adding it to your hand. And until the end of the next turn, add this card resolves, you cannot activate the added monsters effects or its effects with cards with the same name until you normal summon that monster, which is the only downside to this card. But usually when you're searching your copy of Kepler or Copernicus, that is going to be your normal summon to either add your copy of your dark contract with the gate or add your copy or send a monster from deck to graveyard, which is super good. So that's it for the spells guys. Let's get into the traps. So for the traps, we're just going to be playing two traps, and that is a single copy of Dark Contract with Eternal Darkness. This card is absolutely broken, and I love this card in this deck because it has the ability that while you have two DD mon cards in your pendulum zone, your opponent cannot target monsters on the field with spell or trap effects and tribute them for tribute summons, nor use them as material for a fusion, synchro, or XZ summon. And once per turn during your standby phase, take a thousand life points just like all of your other Dark Contract cards. But this card is an a insanely powerful floodgate that you can play in this deck. And then play a single copy of Headhunt. Headhunt is just a really good one of in the deck. It has a really good effect that if you control a DDD monster, then you can target one face up monster that your opponent controls and take control of it until the end phase of the next turn. But its effects are negated and it cannot declare attacks. Also, if a monster is specimen from the extract, it is also treated as a DDD monster, which is really neat about this card because it helps you go in for your copy of Machina X, which is just super good. So, that's it for the main deck, guys. Let's get into the extra deck. So for the extra deck, we're going to be playing one each of the DDD Super Doom King Purple Armageddon, one copy of DDD Super Doom King Bright Armageddon, and one copy of DDD Super Doom King Dark Armageddon. These are really insanely powerful monsters, all with 3,500 attack points each, and just some really insane effects to be able to summon them to your side of the field. They're really easy to put on the field, but the entire goal of the deck is to put all three of them on the field at the same time and it's really insane once you do they're really good monsters and just overall fantastic boss monsters to summon this deck we then play three or two copies of ddd divisor king deuce machina x this card is really good in the deck and just a fantastic boss monster overall because you can also exit some of this card using a ddd monster that you control as a material making this card a one card exit summon which is really insane and you also transfer all the materials from that monster to this card and also has ability once per once per chain um when a monster card that your opponent control activates its effect quick effect you can detach two materials from this card or destroy one dark contract card that you control and if you do attach that opponent's monster to this card as a material and then once per turn during your stamina phase you can place this card in your pendulum zone which is a pretty good effect because it is a scale 10. i then play a single copy of marksman king tell marksman king tell can be overlaid on top of our copy of wave king caesar which is really cool but it has the ability that if this card is sent from the field to the graveyard then you can send a dd or dark contract card from your deck to the graveyard which is the main effect that we're going to be using on this card. We then play a single copy of Wave King Caesar, which we're only ever making this card to be able to make the copy of Marksman King Tell, because you can basically just overlay this on top of your copy of Wave King Caesar, Caesar kind of like a copy of Utopi the Lightning, which is pretty good. I then play a single copy of DDD Cursed King Siegfried. This card is pretty easy to summon to your side of the field, and it's a really good walking negate, which is why we play this card as a one of. I then play a single copy of Gust King Alexander. Gust King Alexander is a really good extender for 
the deck. Because if another, another DD monster is normal or special summon to your field, while you control this face up card, except during the damage step, then you can target a level four or lower DD monster in your graveyard and special summon it, which is a great effect, especially if you have Night Howl in the graveyard to be able to make your copy of your Bright Armageddon. I then play two copies of Flame King Genghis. Flame King Genghis is insanely powerful and has an extremely similar effect to your Gust King Alexander, but this card is super easy to summon, which is why I play two of it in this particular build. And if another DD monster is special summoned to your field, while you control this face-up card, except during the damage step, you can target a DD monster in the graveyard and special summon it, which is a really awesome effect. We then play a single copy of Flame King High Genghis, which is super good in the deck, and one of the main cards we're going to be summoning. This card is really insane because it has a similar effect to your copy of Flame King Genghis, that if another DD monster is normal or special summoned to your field, while you control this monster, you can target a DD monster in the graveyard and special summon it. But this card has an added bonus effect that once per turn when a spell or trap card or effect is activated, quick effects, you can negate the activation, making this card a great card to just leave on the field. We then play three copies of Abyss King Gilgamesh. Abyss King Gilgamesh is insanely powerful and a definite three of the deck. This card basically on summon puts both of your pendulum scales on your side of the field, which is really insane because if this card is special summon, you can activate this effect that you cannot special summon monsters for the rest of the turn except DD monsters. Also place two DD monsters for with different names from your deck in your pendulum zone and if you take a thousand points of damage which is really insane and just a great combo piece to help you get out your copies of your super doom king. So that's it for the deck guys. I hope you enjoyed. This deck is really really insane and it's super easy to pull off being able to summon out the copies of the super doom kings. There's a bunch of ways in this particular deck to be able to summon them out to the field which is really really nice and this deck is super fun to be able to play. I'm really glad Zach actually suggested this one because this is a deck that I've wanted to build for a long time. So anyways guys, this is Dark Arm Duels. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell there so you can come part of the notification squad and we'll see you guys in the next video. See you later guys.